Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video on how to split large nasty rounds with only hand tools for weaklings. Now first off, let me apologize for the airplane noise. I'm not sure why, but every time I come outside to film, it's as if there's a Japanese Zero trying to kamikaze a ship in Pearl Harbor right above me. I was thinking the other day, if you didn't have a splitter and you were a weakling and you only had a couple simple hand tools, how would you go about splitting a big, tough round like this 28-inch stringy ash? Well, all you really need is a couple simple tools, a mallet and a wedge. That's it. You start by trying to find a crack. This round really doesn't have a good one, but there is a tiny one here, so you just start to tap in the wedge. The hardest part here is not to get frustrated and overexert yourself by hitting the wedge as hard as you can. The reason this method is effective is because the energy with each blow builds on the last one and the energy is not wasted like when you hit it with an axe and it bounces off. So you can see by being patient, we already knocked a piece off. So now you just start the process over. Find a crack if you can and start to tap the wedge in slowly and methodically. You build sort of a cadence, a rhythm if you will. And if you can stick to it, then this will allow you to split a very large, tough round with not that great deal of strength. So let's try to get a much bigger split by moving over here. Keep in mind this is a very large stringy piece of ash that does not want to come apart. Now, even though this doesn't require a lot of strength, that doesn't mean no effort. I start to become a little frustrated with the pace, so I start putting in just a little bit more power into each blow. Not a lot, but just enough to make the effort that I have to spend much more noticeable in my breathing. I'll speed things up just a bit so you know in real time on a tough piece of wood just how long this process takes. So I got through it, not with strength, but sheer will. If you have the time and patience, you can split through large, nasty rounds with just simple hand tools, even if you're weak. But then this happened. Okay, so now this is the point in the video where I just about lose that last little patience I have left with this method. I feel as though this ash round is looking at me and laughing, mocking me, and my puny attempt to repeat the process again for the good people on YouTube to see. And that sigh, my friends, is me just losing that little piece of patience I had left. Now I know what you're thinking here. Hey, that's not a hand tool, but come on folks, let's not split hairs. This is a tool and it's in my hands. It just also happens to be a steel MS-462 Professional Magnesium K72.2 CC Beast with a 25 inch bar and a full chisel chain. Well, I don't think that should matter. Yeah, so giving the thumbs up here was a mistake as you're gonna find out. I used the chainsaw to make a groove so the wedge can start further down in the wood. At this point, I finally feel it start to bite and I think now I've got it. So naturally, I gave the token thumbs up to you, the viewers. Well, let's just see how that turns out. Fudge. That's right, I said fudge. Jesus is always listening, remember that. You can see how this round has wiped the proverbial grin off my face. Thus, I retract my original thumbs up in lieu of this appropriate thumbs down. What now? Start over in a different place.
Finally, this round just gave up the goods. You'll notice that I'm using a pry bar to pull apart this round. I see people on YouTube using an ax all the time to do this, but that's not a good idea if you don't want a broken ax handle. Now, you might say, hey, I want a broken ax handle. Well, that just screams that you've probably never taken the time to actually make one from scratch. Oh, which reminds me, that would be a good video in the future. So this brings us to round two. Now we need to just keep going and turn these really big pieces into firewood sized pieces. Great. So let's get back at it, right? Are you crazy? Right. So due to YouTube's copyright policy, they forced me to do this myself. I apologize in advance. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Bah, 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 bah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope I showed how with little strength you can split even really large tough rounds. But the real question is do you want to? Remember, while it takes little strength with this method, it does require two important ingredients. That is time and effort. I love the physical nature of getting big rounds down to a manageable size, but after that, I feed them to the super split. And as Ferris Bueller said, it is so choice. I love driving it. If you have the means, I highly recommend you picking one up. As always, remember John 3.16 and to put Jesus first in your life. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.